In putting together this year's report, I usually try to come up with a theme, and I've gone back and I've looked at what I've been reporting for the last couple of years and found that a lot of the results or a lot of the findings are so similar to the way they've been for the last three or four years, and in fact, what I expect to happen pretty much for the next three or four years. And so I think the, the, the new question becomes, is this the new normal? I think, and I think the answer to that question is yes. Just because we have not come out of this recession the same way we have in the past, we haven't had that growth, it's been a very elongated, but if you actually notice, we're not making that much progress. This year's State of Logistics report actually is designed to measure the cost of moving goods in the economy, and the results for 2012 actually looked very similar to what they looked like in, in 2011. So we have trucking, and we have rail, and we have air, and we have ocean and inland waterways, um, as well as pipelines. And that part of the um, index actually went up um, 3%. And uh, the interesting thing, I guess, about the the 3% is that's roughly half of what it went up last year. And it's because we've, we've virtually had no growth in volume. Rates, you'd think in, the, in a situation where the trucking industry is at capacity, 97% utilization, that they would be able to raise their rates. But in this economy, there's no place to raise your rates. People can't afford to pay them more, and so they just won't do it. They will go find somebody else. Um, so the, the rail industry, their biggest growth portion, car loadings were actually down, but the intermodal piece was up about 8.6%. And with intermodal, there's a lot of competition with trucks. And so that part, despite it being the most sought after part of the rail industry, they still haven't been able to raise their rates because there's always a trucker they are willing to take that business. Um, and ocean carriers have had a very miserable time because they've continued to add capacity at a time when globally, not just in the U.S., but globally we've seen a huge decline in volume. And they're adding, I think they added 8% uh, to, the, to their capacity this year. They expect another 10% to come online in 2013. All that happens because those ships were ordered way back in 2010, 2011 when it looked like the economy was going to ignite. So the, the rates there are very, very weak. There have been a lot of rate wars over the past, past year, and in the end, it's, it's hurting the carriers. The supply chain is actually the backbone of the U.S. economy. If we didn't have the supply chain, you wouldn't have the clothes you're wearing, you wouldn't have the food you had for breakfast, you wouldn't have the chair that's in your, in your house. All of those things move through the supply chain. So the supply chain is actually really not just the physical train or truck that moves those goods, it's also all of the pieces that go with that, the planning, the if it came over on a, a, a ship because it was imported, how is it going to get from the ship to the rail yard to go on the rail to go in? It's all of those pieces that you take for granted. Um, it just you you can't imagine what goes on behind the scenes when you place that overnight order on Amazon.